Hey, another cold one. 34, baby. Yeah, and I decided that I was going to uh, wake up at 2.30 this morning and go to the bathroom. And never really got fully back to sleep. I went to sleep, but you know how that goes. Yankees Oyster House yeah. for lunch. Good stuff. It's gonna be pretty good. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, going home. Done with the work in the day. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I got a email, an email from Pinoco saying that my stuff's been shipped. And so they just sent they like sent it to me like an hour ago. So the UPS tracking number doesn't really work yet. But I'm gonna give it till like tonight and I probably should be able to see when it comes. Hopefully, hopefully it will be here before the weekend. If they put it in a, sh a saver shipper thing, box thing, it'll get here because everything else does. I can get stuff from the Netherlands from Shapeways in like two days. So I should be able to get something from Pinoco, which is inside the United States within two days. So yeah, that'd be cool. Except I did forget to make one, one of the pieces, like add one of the pieces in there. I just didn't really think about it. So, but I do already have one. I needed two of them, only have, I only have one in the set. So I'm gonna have to strap that to some of the bamboo wood that I'm getting and like route it with my router or whatever and then file it nice and clean so that I can uh, uh, make another piece. So I need two of them. So but it should work pretty good. Hopefully I, see I didn't assemble this one in 3D. Probably should have. But I just went ahead and did it. Hopefully I won't regret this. But, you know, I guess if I, if I have to hack on it a little, I'll get out the files and hack on it a little. And hopefully I won't have to. So, because I did, like, almost mess up, like, three times. I managed to catch it and fix it, but... I guess I still messed up by not getting one of the parts made. Plus, I didn't do any of the hinge stuff, which I forgot completely about. So I'm going to have to find some, like, form of hinge to be able to make this box open and close. So, yeah. So you should see that in the next couple days, okay? All right. So, going home now. It's still, like, below 40, which really sucks. Yeah. So yeah, I just got another letter from the IRS like two months later. They decided to wait 15,000 years to send you a letter. I'm like, I know you got the letter within two days. It took you two months to read it. Now they respond, it's saying that we cannot accept your Schedule D you sent us in response. It appears you have stuff flipped in reverse and junk. That's not really what they say, but I mean, come on, guys. I mean... They should see that I don't owe anything, but they just don't. Oh, I hate, I hate it, I hate it. So I'm gonna pull up my Schedule D. I'm gonna call this stupid 1-800 number and talk to Marilyn Field, Field, or I don't even know how to say that. Between seven and eight, eight, eight p.m. Eastern.
which I still have time to talk to her. <sighs> I hate this junk. And it, what makes me upset is that they're trying to charge me, talking about char take, doing interest here and doing interest there, and they write their letter in such a stinking, sneaky way that you're going to, somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about, they will sign this thing, send it in, and they will get charged the money anyways. Money that was theirs, not the government's, theirs. I don't even have that money. I lost money. And they want to charge me taxes on it. What? That's gay. Really gay. How can you charge someone taxes on income that they didn't get? <laughs> I mean, these people need to, like, do something with themselves right now. So apparently I have everything backwards, so I'm going to call them and cuss them out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to cuss out the government. I would like to and tell them where to shove this Schedule D and say try to file me oh you gotta be stinking kidding me alright I finally got off the phone with the IRS as you can see my ears kind of red the reason why it's red is because I held my cell phone up to my ear for a grand total today of if this I don't even know if this thing will focus. Not really. Will focus if I do this? I don't know. But yeah, 45 minutes and 45 seconds. I only talked to her for about hmm two and a half minutes, maybe three. So I will say 5 minutes and 45 seconds is how long I talked to her. I was on hold for 40 minutes. Way to go, IRS. It's the way to get the ball rolling. Because basically what they do, if you're very, 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 very devoted, you will stay online. You'll stay on hold and wait for the whole call. By that time, you should probably be either completely irate or defused one or the other. Uh, if you're irate enough, you'll just hang up and not wait 40 minutes to talk to someone for five minutes about something. So yeah. So now all I have to do is, I, she said I could fax the thing which it says on my letter that I can and all that junk. I knew that. Um, I just wanted to make sure what I had to include because you know how they are. If you don't include that one little you, if you don't dot your I or cross that T, null and void. Two months later, you know, because right now I'm I'm getting interest added to the money they say I still owe, which I don't owe it because E-Trade sent in a thing without my losses, gains or losses, of how much I sold my stocks for. They didn't send that. All they s sent in was the sales price, or no, the cost. They didn't send in the sales price. So, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Now I'm going to fax this tomorrow at work. And hopefully they will see it and reply back relatively quickly. Because that would be great if they would. Because I don't... I'm, I'm pretty much coming to the conclusion I'm not going to pay it. One way or the other, I'm not paying it. If they want to keep on and keep on running interest on me, I'm not paying it because I don't owe the money. So, yeah. It's good stuff. Been sitting here looking at Thingiverse while I uh, was on hold. And uh, I think now I'm going to get a shower and uh, <laughs> get to uh, finishing up this vlog and waste the rest of my night by being on hold with IRS. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, I got a little bit more done now. Yeah. On the CNC machine. So, I got everything, well, not everything attached. I still have to do, I have to make this back bracket here. I'm going to extend this, this part out straight. Whoops, sorry. 
and extend this part out straight, like take that corner off and extend a back bracket all the way across for structural integrity. And But see, you can see how it assembles. I can actually move this, you know, back and forth, which is pretty cool. As you can like, you know, see how your part actually does. Yeah. And if you're wondering what all those yellow parts are, those are actually like, like this one right here is a stepper motor, which doesn't really look like my stepper motors, but it's close enough. And th this one here is a, uh, um, one of these guys. All these parts that are yellow are IGES files that I, it's just a type of 3D file that I brought in from um, uh, McMaster car, which is a 3D, or not a 3D, but a parts, uh, parts ordering place for mechanical parts and all this stuff. And they're nice enough to majority of their parts, they include 3D models. So like these linear bearings here, they're not the exact same size of what I'm doing, but they're relatively close, enough for you know mock-ups. But that's the linear bearing right there, and you can even see it's got it's got the little ball bearings and everything in it, and that's one of these. And there's little little tiny ball bearings in there and stuff. It's not the exact same model, but you know, it's it's close enough that it would uh, it'll work for mock-up purposes. So yeah, and uh, what I really like about um, which I have I have hidden lines turned on, but if I turn those off here, uh, let's see, realistic with some shadows and reflections. Okay, so now you can halfway see what it's going to look like. Okay, so, uh, ew, that's kind of nasty. The, uh, I just files are kind of, uh, weird. Um, but as you can see, there is a, whoa, where'd it go? I got some, uh, some screws here that I'm going to use, and I got this one up here. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So. It's pretty cool. But these are the cross braces here. I was telling you about these guys. Um, they mount to here. See how that's like that and that's like that. So they basically just like, you know, you know, go together like a little like finger thing and fits together without any kind of hardware. So that should work. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's in 3D. Wow. Oh yeah. So that's pretty much my day. Ended it with uh, some 3D glasses just to uh, kick it up a notch. Yeah. No, but really, these, these things kind of hurt my face. So yeah. So, that's about it. So until next time, I guess I'll have to go ahead and say, <laughs> <laughs>